Okay, guys, before we move on with this episode, this is just pure speculation and these are just my opinions. All right, so are they next? Are they coming next? So this is just based all on deductive reasoning, just being Sherlock for once. And uh, most likely... These are the figures that are dropping. Kind of some of them, or I'm not saying all of them. Um, we already got Milim, which is, she is Snow A. So definitely there's not going to be a Snow A um, Snow A character coming in or figure. And uh, Rimuru is Let's Red. So definitely Red Let's Red is out of the picture. So let's take a look at um, them and see what are their factions. So you have here this. She's called Toka in the Japanese website. So I'm not sure if that's her right translation of her name. She is a support. Definitely, she's going to be good. She's going to be, I think, a healer. So um, she's with Night Nine. So definitely um, not no A. So most likely she's going to be dropping. Next is going to be Date Masamune. So Date is going to be your additional assault for Galatea. Um, she, he's not actually in the picture. So he's the one one of the figures that I think will be dropping because um, it's not one of the brands that dropped recently. And the last one is going to be Crusel. So Crusel is going to be Tenma and she's going to be military. So more or less any of these three will be dropping for hopefully this week um i'm still hoping that they'll be putting out teasers by today or tomorrow um but so far none so this i'm just going to speculate all over on who is going to be dropping um let's take a look at the ratings and see if they are worth your summoning okay so let's start off with toka um she is actually rated an 8 out of 10 this is from the japanese um uh, ratings so she will be good for both pve and pvp um basically good with almost all of the content she's rated a a at best not even an s so um really depends on you know what she brings to the game and let's see what she brings uh while we are here already so first skill is your basic attack your technique is damages. Uh, this is going to be her ultimate skill. Damages all enemies and disarms them for 3 seconds. When an enemy dies, randomly revives an ally. So she actually does revive. Okay, so this is something new. That is why she's going to be good. Not healing, by the way, but revive. Resurrects allies and gains a shield for 10 seconds. So she's going to be good. Um, shield and revive. Um, definitely gonna be getting her so passive skill is before the start of the battle um, energy recovery speed for yourself and allies adjacent to you is increased by 2 attack speed is increased by 30% lasts for 15 seconds effect is uh, affected by increased support the resurrected ally will be given the same effect once again so again terrific I think support um, hopefully we could have the same opportunity as the last time that we had with Ayakino where in they gave out a lot of opportunities for us even some free to plays went as high as five star peach for Ayakino um I hope it happens with um, with Toka as well exclusive skill heals random allies every three seconds so she has a somehow small amount of heal within her kit so definitely I think she's going to be a must pull if she arrives this week or soon uh, let's move over to Date here Date is rated at a 7.7 .7 out of a 10 um, very good in PvE not so much with PvP let's check out his skills just the uh, just in passing um, his attack skill has a chance to stun for one second only but it's a very small percentage his ultimate, by the way, is um, attacks a target for, and stun for one second as well. Increases damage by 10% and increases energy recovery speed by 4 or 5 seconds. 
Increase damage dealt by um, 12% and reduce energy by 9 when dealing damage. So he's kind of a buffer for himself and a debuffer for his, um, you know, for his uh, enemy right in front of him that is that he is attacking. So passive skill, when attacking the target that has an obstruction effect, it deals additional damage when Date Masamuni grants an additional inhibiting effect. It simultaneously gives the target 3 slashes. Okay, so nothing, nothing really special. So I believe that he is going to be really rated at uh, at an A. I think uh, Toka deserves to be an S. What do you think, guys? Give me your said your opinions on the matter. So lastly, we have Crosell, which is rated an eight point point two out of ten. She's definitely good at PVE. Very good in Code V here with a rating of five. So overall, she's kind of balanced she, her strongest track is a as well depends on our server but let's take a look at our skills so attack is uh, basic uh, gives priority to the first in the row technique skill which is ultimate is going to be curse the target for eight seconds during the time it deals continuous damage every second curse will not be lifted so she's like your um, damage over time level up effect so curse and freeze as well. Okay, so passive skill. Crow cells, normal attack marks the target and enemies around it, dealing continuous damage after the mark enemy activates the skill. Crow cell deals freeze damage to that enemy and his nor her normal attack target. Okay, so exclusive skill. So she is going to be uh, damage over time, continuous damage, and deals freeze. Okay, nice one. So she's going to be part of um, she's part um, board control as well. So exclusive skills. So these are just damage. So those are your ratings, guys. I, I don't want to, you know, I, I, just, I want you guys to wait for wait for the excitement of um, these uh, figures uh, coming through or being launched. But this is just a probably a sneak peek of what they can do, and hopefully some figures drop this week because i'm itching for you know for some you know some things to do in the game and i've uh, been waiting for a new event for quite a while since rimuru and milim dropped a few weeks back so again guys this is it so hopefully hopefully um i can hear from you if you think that they are dropping these are just purely speculation and uh, purely my deduction who comes next because uh, next because i'm excited and who do you think is dropping next please do comment in the in the comment section below okay and please do subscribe to my channel if you're still here because this helps my channel a lot Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.